hi everyone uh, so this is the part 2 of microsoft test manager video series so in part 1 uh, we saw the basics of uh, mdm that is microsoft test manager how to connect to a, how to open mdm and connect to team foundation server how to create a test plan test suit a test case what are the different uh, test suit types that is dynamic test suit that is query based test suit then static test suit and requirement based test suite and uh, we saw the test settings that is what data to be captured when we execute a test case then we saw the test configurations so today in this video we'll see how to execute a test case then how to file a bug okay and once the bug is fixed once the bug is resolved how to re-verify or retest and you know close the bug if it is really fixed okay so i'll continue with the items we did in part one that is uh, we created a test plan called iteration three then we created some test suits then we created a test case called confirm receipt number that appears after successful ordering so this is for a dummy application called tailspin toys okay and here are the steps and and according to the sixth step it has got some variables and these are the value values for the variables okay so so we got three values and there are 10 steps okay so this is a tailspin toys uh, team project okay so if you see here how i'm connecting so going back again so i'm connecting to a team foundation server called vslm then to a team project called as tailspin toys and under that i'm connecting to a plan called as iteration 3 okay so once i choose a plan i'll get all the test suits and the test cases for those test suites okay so now we want to run this test case and also we have got this test settings so there's a demo diagnostics test settings which will capture like action log screen and voice recording system information as such okay so to execute the test cases so we have to go to the next tab that is test then so you can see based on the configurations we have chosen we have got two test points one test case but two test points so let's run one of them okay so i'm going to run this and i can click on run so before that let me show you the demo app here so i'm shortcut favorites button so this is a tailspin toys site it's a shopping uh, site dummy shopping site so where we go and select uh, these uh, miniature toys aeroplane toys okay so let me start the test case now so i'll click on run okay so uh, the advantage of using mtm is one is i will run only once that is first time next one on onwards i can use this action recording and play it there is an action play and also we'll see how useful the parameters will be now so that i don't need to manually enter every time i run the test so let me start the test now so it's initializing all the diagnostic all the options and so once it is done i'll be able to see all the steps here okay and the first step says open this uh, url so i've got a shortcut let me just click on this so url is open i can click on pass so i can use this 
single click will be passed double click failed or i can use a drop down so next is click on model airplane so i can click on this so i can make pass or fail next is click on not win trader I click on this next is click on add to cart then check out okay so here it says okay i have to enter the values so i'll do here just control v you can see that i'm just doing control v and it is binding the data so here it's not compulsory that the variable name should be same as the you know the labels or the controls you are using in web okay it can be anything only thing is where you are binding the data that matters so when you when you select this and click on certain control and paste it so it is bound so next time it goes and you know enters the same value so anyway drop downs we have to select manually so i'm done with all the values so let me click on pass here next step says click on review order next says place the order so next is confirm the receipt number is coming yes it is coming here so i can make this uh, step as passed so the expected result is receipt number should appear at the top of the order page yes it's coming just to show you guys how to create a bug how to file a bug okay i'm just failing this particular step i could see here 50 dollars is a price of that model plus 15 dollars is a shipping charge so it should be 65 so since the total is wrong i'm saying the reason total is wrong and i want to capture a screenshot of this so we can find a camera icon here so i can take a entire full screenshot or i can take a particular rectangular screenshot and the next part is so i can use i can open this screenshot and i can use paint and enable or highlight certain sections okay now i can go and file a bug so i can see this icon so i just clicked on that and i'll say grand total is wrong i can assign it to the developer so let me assign it to the logged in user so here i can see all the details so you can see indexed video recording for each of the steps the screenshot captured and other test configuration and the parameters used for the testing okay then system information os ram browser all those stuff plus it gives me a very interesting and important information that is found in build since in my test plan i have added or assigned this build to the plan so whenever i file a bug it will say found in this particular build so one thing i'll get to know is okay this bug was found in this release in this build next another important advantage of this is i'll come to know the quality of the release or quality of the build so for this particular build 10 bugs were found so even that is very important information for me okay so once all the things are done i can even go and you know give more description here i can say because just some information i can give i 
can do all this stuff okay so and if you go to the test case link you can see it is already linked to the test case you are running okay so let me click on save now a bug is created bug 65 is created let me close this and continue with my testing the last step says close the browser let me close it and it's done okay so attrition one is over so i can start iteration two so we have got three iteration one I, first iteration is failed okay so i've started the second iteration i can select the steps till ventilate step okay so because uh, this is a manual verification needed at till i mean at the ninth step so i can just click on play so you can see you can see it is taking the next set of values and automatically entering all the values and it's done so now i can say whether the receipt number is coming or not and if it is coming i can click on pass and if there are any other steps still remaining i can select those steps and click on play so here there was a close action which is done so i can move to the next iteration so i can again start here then select the steps till there is no manual verification needed and i can click on play and this time it, it will take the next set of value so I can see if the first was Michael, then second Chris and Robin. So three different sets of values. And this will save tester a huge amount of time and effort. So I can again see the receipt number is coming and make it pass or fail accordingly and play the rest of the things. And still it's a manual testing. So if there is any you know issue in the application it will stop maybe at the fourth step fifth step wherever so and all the iterations then save and close okay so the test has been failed so i can double click and see the results so iteration one is failed i can go for iteration two I can go for iteration 3 all the stuff so iteration 1 I can see the details here I can see the bug also raised so now bug is created as a developer let me you know open visual studio just assume I'm a developer now I connect to the same team project test pin toys then go to my work and i can see a new work item is created i'll just double click and open a bug work item is created and assigned to me so i'll see the details here so i want to see the video recording what the tester has done so i want to click on the step where it has failed i'll just click on that so you can see it is fast forward till the step where you know the receipt number the ninth step is coming where the tester will go and you know file a bug i can see all the details okay so i want to see the screenshot now so i can just click on the screenshot yes it opens with the highlighted information and i want to see the action logs because i want to see what the tester has performed for each of the steps so there's open the app the url the you know the tester has done these these actions because sometimes the step says something and the tester might have done something else even that is important so i can see all those information here the tester doesn't have to write the steps to reproduce the tool has done that and the link to the test case the system information all the stuff 
just for this video purpose assume that developer fixes this bug okay after after getting all this information okay now the testers will get the mail alert so he'll send back to the tester to test it so here it's the same user julia so let's go back so as a tester i'll again open mtm so there's a section called as verify bug so i'll click on that okay and you can see that it's in resolved state now i don't have to you know go back and remember the test case and all those stuff so i have to just select this bug and just say verify the test case associated with bug will open and i can just run the test case that's so cool here so i i don't have to remember the test case to which the bug was raised and all the stuff so i have to just select the bug work item and say verify it now i can just click on this and play it so you can see when we are doing retest it's easy i don't have to do anything manually here so certain steps still there's no manual verification needed i can just play the action and i could see here okay the shift number is appearing this time i'll make it this as passed and i close the browser i'll just click on play here yeah done so like this i can continue for all the iterations So this is the second iteration. So this will take Chris, the first name, last name, and all those details. Second set of values. Again, I'm going to value verify whether the receipt number is coming. Yes, it's coming. I can go and make it pass. Then click on the last step, close the browser, and click on play here. Yes, it does. So like this, I can really do my testing faster with less effort so that I can concentrate on the main objective of testing that is the productivity. So I can concentrate on designing the test cases or executing properly the test cases instead of you know unproductive work like manually entering every time the values or manually typing the initial steps every time. Okay, so yes. I'll make this a past. Click on play. So I'm done with all the iteration and all the iterations are passed. So I'm going to save and close. Now I'll get a pop up saying whether you want to close the bug or you want to reactivate. So I'm closing the bug since it is resolved. I want to just give the comment here why I'm closing. So it's done. So this is how the bug, even the bug-like cycle is covered here. So when the tester tests the application and he finds an issue or bug in the application, he or she will file a bug, then the developer fixes the bug. So it will be in resolved state. Tester again verifies whether the bug is really resolved or not. And if it is resolved, closes the bug. So that's it guys. So we saw how to execute a test case how to make advantage how to use or you know benefit from the features provided by mtm like the parameterization with the test case the action playback okay and even verify bug so where i don't have to remember any test cases i have to just see the bugs which are created by me or assigned to me to retest and i can click on verify bugs okay so thanks for uh, watching this video so i will uh, have many more uh, uh, video series on mtm and other features of tfs and visual studio alm thank you